Anyway, guys, <laughs> moving forward. Uh, um, if you know Olive, she's an actress, former actress of mother-in-law. Alikuwaga inaitwa Jelena recently alianza kuongelelea kuhusu um her previous marriage yenye kuwa kaud it was actually very abusive and she went through hell as she says and um it was um she was married to a guy called Roy up I don't know it's Upton or it's Upton but that's the name and um she was talking about the way like um the guy was able to like hide um hide his true nature his true colors when the friends were around ama when the family was around but the time it was just yeah yeah na olive like ilikonga man hiyo nyumba ikaliki so it's very sad me always ta, okay stand for one thing kama msia na kuchapa kama msia na kumistreat my dear just walk mm. as in there's no point of view just staying there you're suffering mtu ana kuchapa mtu ana kumistreat but as in iko zuri nataka kusema maybe you just you get but msia wote mwenye na kudisrespect in any way akisha kupiga kofi na alisema yake pia ilianza tu mara kwanza alipigwa kofi baada akaanza kujekelea na feel yeye mwenyewe ndio amemkosea maybe endo ame provoke the husband to beat her but even when you can like it just became a thing you know like the abuse keep, keeps on going on but i love the fact that she decided to walk away and me me violence man tembea tu tembea yeah. billions of people in this world you'll find someone else who'll treat you better just walk and you know what i really feel like this is actually a topic we should actually have on our show because yeah. the most surprising thing <laughs> these days is just to find how many young people are in abusive relationships and mm. it goes either way mm. and i really feel like this is happening it's so rampant in our community a lot of women are so scared to mm. speak about it i know so many young ladies who are in abusive relationships mm. and i really feel we need to talk about this uh, or on its own as as a mm. topic and we actually have a video yeah 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 olive so let's watch in my case of course it became it, it, it became crazy as he took like i was saying as he took over my finances like if i send my mom money he'd be like so you're sending money to your mother and uh, cause of a fight which would turn violent you know crazy and whatever but um there's a scenario that happened in my life that i remembered my dad being in the same position over my mom and this guy was in the same position over me and he was really like you know graphic again yeah um and that's when i was like haja this motherfucker was going to kill me one day and that's when i left i parked actually i did not park in all god is my witness i dressed i was going to work i showered in the morning i dressed up i picked my handbag i walked out like i was walking to work like i was going to work and I never came back since. And I mean, and that's a young <laughs> woman's experience, yeah. I think, mm -hmm. that has been seen so many times, which is why I said, I really feel it's something we should talk about. I really would also like our audience to give us feedback about mm -hmm. if these are things that they yeah. have seen or, or do experience in the society, because I've seen it quite often. Also, being a friend of someone who goes through that, because I remember when this was happening, I was very heavily pregnant. And she could call me and tell me I'm stranded. I, I, I need you to come pick me up. So we would go, me and my other friends would go pick her up. And, you know, we are all there. We're wondering what to tell her, what to, you know, how to explain to her. Because none of us has even experienced what yeah. she's, she's, she's going through. But it's, it, it's actually, funny enough, it starts with the finances. Mm. It starts uh, there. You're not supposed to send your parents money. You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to do this. Again, you're not supposed to buy something without <laughs> consulting. My, consulting me. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you know, this is our house. So I think this is a very broad topic. It really is. Yeah. And I think when maybe when someone is going through abuse, you can tell them to speak about it. But most importantly, you know, you maybe you, you don't know what advice to give them, but just be there mm -hmm. because they need you. And the other thing I'll say, love yourself enough to walk away. Marriage is not a death sentence. Yeah. Don't sit there, ukatokato na panga umalize because you want to be married for society.